The Anywhere Interface Box was designed to solve control, monitoring, and interfacing problems. It's a problem solver. It's a utility box that you configure the way you want to use it. It has eight GPI inputs, has eight GPO outputs. The inputs are opto-isolated. The outputs are dry contact closures. It has a serial port for transmit and receive. It has an Ethernet connector for transmit, receive, as well as for configuration. With the Anywhere Interface box, you configure it the way you want to use it. It supports power over Ethernet, so you can power it from your Ethernet connection or from an external power supply, whichever makes the most sense for your application. So the key behind the Anywhere Interface box is it puts you in control. It lets you design and configure what you need for your specific application. The Anywhere Interface box gives you the ability to control relays from Ethernet, from serial, from a GPI. I can fire a GPI, turn a relay on. I can fire a GPI, have it toggle off. I can fire a GPI. As long as that GPI is active, the relay is on. As soon as the GPI turns off, the relay turns off. I can have one GPI control one GPO or one relay closure. I can have a momentary GPI fire a latching GPO. I can have a momentary GPI fire multiple GPOs. One may be latching, one may be momentary. I can have a, a, a latching GPI fire momentary GPOs. So you have a lot of power to configure the box to do what you want to do for your specific application. I can take a GPI and cause a serial command string to be sent out. I can take a GPI and cause an Ethernet command string to, to be sent out. I can take a I can receive serial data and cause a GPO to turn on. I can receive serial data and cause an Ethernet uh, command to be sent out. So I can have a situation where I have an old system that was using serial communication. The device that it was talking to has broken. I need, I need to replace it. The new device uses Ethernet. So now what I've done is I've put the Anywhere Interface in, the, in between. I have my serial commands coming into the Anywhere Interface box. You configure it so it knows what commands, what bytes to monitor. As soon as it sees that, it replaces it with an Ethernet based command to tell your projector to turn on, to tell your monitor wall to light up. So it gives you the ability to go from the old serial to the new Ethernet. The Anywhere Interface box also supports watchdog timers. You can configure a timer so that as long as it's receiving GPIs from some external device, as long as it's receiving serial data, as long as it's receiving Ethernet data, that timer keeps resetting. If I was to lose my serial connection, that watchdog timer would time out. It would cause a GPO to turn on, or I can have it send an Ethernet message somewhere telling someone, hey, you've got a problem, you have to address this. You can easily configure a GPI to send SNMP messages to your SNMP monitoring system. You can cause a GPI to send SNMP trap information. You can also configure the device so that monitoring serial data or monitoring Ethernet data could generate an SNMP trap or an SNMP message to an external device. Again, the Anywhere Interface box is very simple to use. There's no software programming or scripting required. It's a simple web browser. It's simple drop-down menus and fill-in text boxes. No computer is required to operate the box once you've configured it. So after I've configured it, the configuration is stored inside the Anywhere Interface box. I can also take that configuration and copy it off to a computer. Uh, once on a, a computer, I can now take it and put it in other Anywhere Interface boxes if I wish to copy the configuration onto other units. You could configure Anywhere Interface box to transmit simple or complex ASCII or hex commands. You can create a command string up to 200 characters in length. You can embed a wait time so I can have it send part of the command string, wait a certain amount of time, then send the rest of it. You can stack multiple commands one after the other so it sends out the first command, it waits a certain amount of time, then sends out the next command. The GPIs and GPOs, you can configure the GPOs to be latching momentary as I said before, but you can also create radio groups so when one GPO turns off it automatically turns off uh, another member of its group. The AIB has powerful 
receive data pattern matching. You can monitor serial and Ethernet data for a specific ASCII character, for a specific sequence of characters, for specific hex values, for specific binary values. In fact, you can monitor specific bits within a pattern. You can monitor one bits, multiple bits. You can test for a specific pattern or you can test if any bits are set. So it gives you a lot of power as you're monitoring serial data, as you're monitoring Ethernet data to determine what you want to, what you want to look for. On the Any Interface box, you have events coming in and you have actions going out. You have a GPI trigger, which is an event. You have serial receive, which is an event. You have Ethernet receive, which is an event. You have a timer, times out, that's an event. They cause actions to occur, an action like turning on a GPO, turning off a GPO, an action like sending out a serial command or sending out an Ethernet command, or sending out an SNMP message, or sending out an SNMP trap. The event action table within the AIB is where you configure what your source events are, are coming in and what actions they're going to create. You can have one event cause one action. You can have one event cause multiple actions. The Anywhere Interface box is a simple powerful and flexible tool to help you solve control, monitoring, and interfacing problems simply, easily, quickly, and inexpensively.